some buyers being forced out of the market and that's because homes are no longer affordable and we spoke about this multiple times before and so we know that's the result of a really fast hike in interest rates and a combination of home prices quickly rising astronomically and so it's important to understand that it's not everywhere markets that are highly overpriced of course these markets will experience a faster reaction and it will show up as a really serious dent in the real estate market. But let me show you that we are not on that list at all. Looking at the Redfin article, this is what they are showing us. Las Vegas, Nevada topped the list at 27.2%. Following Las Vegas, Nevada is Lakeland, Florida, Cape Coral, Florida, Port St. Lucie, Florida, and Jacksonville, Florida. And then we are going to look for New York. So we have the highest percentage is New York, which is New York City at 6.8%. Staten Island, Richmond County, New York, Brooklyn, Kings County, New York. New Jersey is, as a whole, is not on the list. We do have New Brunswick, New Jersey at 8.8%. We have Newark, New Jersey at 2.6%, which is the lowest of the lowest. We have Camden, New Jersey at 14.7%. But seriously, did you see Staten Island anywhere? Did you see Brooklyn anywhere? We saw the difference in the percentages is huge. The highest percentage is in Las Vegas, Nevada, and it is 27.2%. And then in New York, the highest percentage is in New York City, and that's at 6.8%. I agree. This is a really fast decline from what we've been used to in the last several years. But in my opinion, the shift that is happening now is actually a gift. But you're watching this video because you want to know with all of this mess that's going on, is the housing market going to crash, right? To answer this question, we first must to look at the data on the local level right here on Staten Island because real estate is really very hyper local and it affects each real estate market completely different. As of this past June, 2022, new listings, pending sales and inventory were all down. Here are the statistics based on Cybor, which is the Staten Island Board of Realtors, the MLS multiple listing data. And let's look at what they say monthly indicators as of june 2022 rising inflation soaring home prices and increased mortgage interest rates have combined to cause a slowdown in the u.s housing market to help coil inflation which reached 9.1 percent as of the last measure in may the federal reserve raised interest rates by three quarters of a percentage point in june the largest interest rates hike since 1994 Higher prices, coupled with 30-year fixed mortgage rates approaching 6%, have exacerbated affordability challenges and rapidly cooled demand, with home sales and mortgage applications failing sharply from a year ago. New listings in Staten Island decreased 15.5% to 612. Pending sales were down 27% to 379. Inventory levels fell 22.3% to 1,440 units. Prices continue to gain traction. The median sale price increased 13.2% to 685,000. Days on the market was down 33.9% to 53 days. That means it takes less days to sell a house. Sellers were encouraged as month's supply of inventory was down 9.7% to 3.4% months with monthly mortgage payments up more than 50 percent compared to this time last year the rising cost of home ownership have sidelined many prospective buyers nationally the median sale price of existing homes recently exceeded 400,000 for the first time ever 
a 15% increase from the same period a year ago, according to the National Association of Realtors, as existing home sales continue to soften nationwide, housing supply is slowly improving. With inventory up for the second straight month, in time, price growth is expected to moderate as supply grows. For now, however, inventory remains low and buyers are feeling the squeeze of higher prices all around. And now let's look at activity on Richmond County, Staten Island, and from the New York State Association of Realtors. And the latest data is from May, and it shows that May 2021, there were 525 listings compared to May of this year of 2022. We only have 500 and 16 new listings, which represent a 1.7% less listings than at the same time a year ago. And so what does it mean for us? What it means for us is that we are still experiencing a shortage of inventory and that's not supporting the indication of a housing market going to crash. I ran another interesting statistics for market trends for the entire Staten Island. On Staten Island in general, the market trends are for June 2022 is we have 3.47 month supply of inventory and that is up by 3.58% month over month. It shows us that we are still in a seller's market. The list to sold price percentage is 100.4% up by 0.84%, which means that we are still selling houses over asking price. The median days on the market is down by 6.06% month over month and it's 31 days. So that means that less time to sell a house now. And the median sold price on Staten Island is $640,000 up. And so in our marketplace, we are still in a seller's market and we are still doing really great here. And I'm very happy to report that. I also ran target market analysis report from Showing Time. Showing Times is a centralized computerized office where all of us realtors use to schedule showing appointments to show properties. And this is data from June 15 to July 15. It's going to show us in most of the homes are being shown. And if you look here, price ranges between 600 and 700 has the most showings, over a thousand showings. Second runner up is price range between 700 and 800 with close to 600 showings. And the next runner up, which is pretty much the same as this one, which between 500 and 600,000. So what does it mean is that majority of the buyers are in the price range of 600 to 700. The next step up is either from 700 to 800 or from 500 to 600 and that's what most of the sales are being made and just a minute ago on the other slide that we looked at we saw that the median home prices in staten island are 640,000. so it fits perfectly into the equation and so now for you guys who live on the south shore specifically in zip codes 10308 and 10309 I ran some statistics for you based on this zip code. So let's start with the zip code of the area of 10308. Here you will see that the median estimated home price is 661,000. Change over last month up by 1.75%. Change over last three months up by 5.53%. And change over the last 12 months 12.57% up and then change over the last 24 months, it was up by 15.94%. Now let's look at the Staten Island, New York 10308 sale price 
The median sale price 670,000 and it's up in the last month by 4.2%. And then look at this, the change over the last three months is down by 2.26%. The change over the last 12 months is still up by 15.43% and the change over the last 24 months is 18.08%. So now let's move on to 10309, Staten Island in the South Shore. And the median estimated home's value is 690,000, up by 1.91% last month. Change over the last three months is up by 4.25%, and change over the last 12 months is up by 8.41% and change over the last 24 months is 14.56%. So now when we look at the sale prices in Staten Island, New York, zip code 10309. So the median sale price is 750,000. The change over the last month is up by 22.65%. The change over the last three months up by 33.93%. The change over the last 12 months is by 16.28%, it went up, and by change over the last 24 months, up by 23.56%. So what does this all mean and why am I saying that the shift that is happening is actually a gift? Because this is not normal. This isn't normal at all. Normal real estate market is three to 4% increase annually in value when the market is healthy. After two years of an on fire real estate market of record selling activity, specifically the surging home prices and the rapidly rising interest rates, there are signs which may look like the housing market is cooling off with the potential of more and more interest rate hikes and the inflation spikes to 9.1%, causing damage to your and my pocket in the grocery stores, the gas pump, and the rising rents. The fear of a recession is taking a center stage. It's painful and it will shrink the buyer pool more and more. But I gotta tell you, if I hear all this market crash, the BS talk constantly, I'm telling you, this is mainly and specifically to create fear or a clickable thumbnail, just to say the least. Is the housing market going to crash? Depends where you live, right? What do you think? Comment and let me know. Friends, it takes a really long time to research the data and put it all together to be able to give you real information to help you understand our Staten Island real estate market to my channel and hit that notification bell. I'd love to hear your comments and questions. I appreciate you watching and I am looking forward to see you on the next video.